Mr. Know-it-all is here. You know, your focus buddy who never smiles. I didn't know what to do with him, so I had him wait in your room. Got it. Thanks. Well, Silence, looks like you finally found a door you could open without me. I'm glad it's there, actually. It kept me from having to mingle with the company you keep. But enough prattle. I believe you owe me an explanation, your plans for the Zenith base. You're right. I do owe you. My spear in your throat for deceiving me again, at the Hades Proving Lab. I doubt you asked me here for that kind of reckoning. No. Right now, I need your help. So I'm giving you one final chance. But if you ever betray me again, I will kill you no matter what the circumstance. Understood? Very well. Though we'll both face a decidedly short future if you can't get us inside that base. Aloy, your other guest is here. She's, um... Coming to you. Thanks. Good timing. The truth is, I can't actually get us into the base. But, she can. The company you keep is even worse than I thought. Not a fan of surprises, are you? Oh, look. That must be your little invention. Does the weapon work? Without self-destructing? Of course it does. I've eliminated the imperfections and greatly improved its design and output. How can we be sure? Care for a demonstration. Enough, both of you. We're in this together, at least for now. Go talk to Erend. Tell him I said to give you rooms of your own. I'll come see you when I get a chance. Oh, no. You first. Better get everyone in the control room, so Tilda can tell us what she knows about the Zenith base. With Regala out of the way, Hikaru and Tanakh, they're safe. The future's up to them now. I do wish they'd drop all the honorary names they've given me. But if I've learned anything about them, that it's not a battle I am going to win. standing there. Aloy! You came back with some interesting... friends. I wish I could say we don't need them. But Silence and Tilda are here for a reason. Even Regala. Yeah. Enemy of my enemy and all that, right? Right. Doesn't look like any of our guests are making trouble. Yet. So, Catalo uh, tells me you flew. Well, that's new. I've been busting my bulks trying to learn to read. You're, you're out there having all the fun. Don't worry. They'll be getting all the fun you can handle soon. With the Zeniths. Looking forward to it. I guess Silence is keeping to himself, as usual. I was hoping you'd give me an excuse to hammer his sorry ass to the ground. Please don't. You telling me you wouldn't want to get just one good hit on that smug face of his? After everything he's done? Sure. Later. Right now, he's got something we need. You, uh, talked to Tilda at all? I tried. I don't think even a hot forge could melt that ice. And you say she wants to help? I think so. Well, 
Let's hope. I better get going. Oh, you know where to find me. Aloy. It appears that we have some interesting new guests. I'm glad to see you're okay, though. I heard you gave the Tanakh something to talk about. I was half expecting you to burst in through the ceiling riding a sunwing. Sorry to disappoint. Have you talked to any of our new friends? Aaron and I tried speaking to Silence, but apparently our tribal prattle is unnecessary. Charming, isn't he? Ready to head over to the Zenith base? Whatever comes, we will endure. Thoughts on our new Zenith acquaintance? I'd say she smells like death, but even death smells of something. She's more like a cold piece of metal, bent on repelling all semblance of life. She's definitely different. I have to go. I trust you to keep things civil around here? I'll make sure Aaron doesn't punch Silence in the face, if that's what you mean. Thanks. You... you flew? Kotalo told me! And took out Regala's machines? <laughs> you know what? I don't even know why I'm surprised. I saw we have visitors... and a new weapon. Does this mean we're ready to take the fight to the Zeniths? Almost. Are you okay? I was wondering... Is it really safe having someone like Regala here? She seems angry. The kind of angry that leads to murdering people in their sleep. Don't worry. We're going to point that anger in the right direction. The Zeniths. If you say so. I hope our new guests have been behaving. The Silence? He's the one who built the weapon that can take down Zenith shields? He is. Though I wouldn't expect him to answer any questions about it. He refuses to dole out his secrets to us lesser mortals. Oh. You know that special part of us that makes us warm, kind, welcoming? Our... spirit? Yeah. He was born without that. You sure you're okay going on this mission? I know things must be happening pretty fast for you. Uh, I've already braved oceans and madmen who thought they were ancestors reborn. Why not a few immortals with lethal drones at their command too? Guess the more the merrier. I suppose you saw that Tilda is here, our very own Zenith. I almost went up to her to ask her, well, every question I've ever had about the legacy. Every diviner I know would kill to get five minutes with one of the old ones. But now that she's here, all I feel is a vague unease. I don't know if I'm scared of finding out more uncomfortable truths or just scared of her. Probably both. I need to wrap up a few things, but stay sharp. I'll be ready when you call. <laughs> Haven't seen you since the battle at the Grove. How are you holding up? I saw you fly on the wings of the Ten. And... Paralyze Regala's army with lightning. I would say that I am <sighs> inspired. Thank you, I guess. It is I who should be thanking you. Look, I know you're probably not happy about keeping Regala around, but I want her on our side when we fight the Zenith. It is more than she deserves. Even so, 
I will not question your judgment. Thank you, Catalo. Things will get ugly once the Zenus realize we're in their base. You'll need every trick you've ever learned. I would have it no other way. Many soldiers died in the old world to make sure we stood here today. We will endure on their behalf. Though, I am curious how you intend to defeat the Zenith's defenses without an army of our own. Leave that to me. Just make sure you're ready to fight. As you say. You have more than earned my trust. Did you meet Tilda? There is something about her that doesn't seem natural. I wouldn't be surprised if my sword went through her and... and she didn't bleed at all. Honestly, with her, nothing would surprise me. I have to go. But I'll be briefing everyone on the plan soon. Understood. There you are. Well done, Aloy. Despite my reservations, you managed to secure Silence and his weapon. You're truly a shining example of Liz's fortitude. I've been thinking about what you said at your house. How you were friends with Elizabeth. It was more than that, wasn't it? Perceptive as ever. You're right, we were together for a time. Okay, so... What happened? I was an orphan. I had always been alone. By my 30s, I was starting to wonder if that was simply my fate in life. And then I met Liz. We kept running into each other at conferences. We'd have coffee. At some point, it became drinks. I thought it was just shop talk, an exchange of ideas, but then I was surprised at how much I looked forward to seeing her. Soon we were flying halfway across the world every other week just to meet up. For the first time, I didn't feel lonely. I could imagine a future where I wasn't. I think Liz felt the same way at first. She had lost her mother a few years back, I filled a void for her. I know I did. But as time passed, it seemed as though she wanted less when I wanted more. And so we ended things. So helping me, restoring Elizabeth's dream, it's what? A, a second chance, yes. I made a mistake leaving Earth while Liz stayed behind. I should have done more. So when I saw you, a woman who has carved her own remarkable path beyond even what made Liz a phenomenon, I knew I had to help you, to do right by her. When it's time to break into the Zenith base, what can we expect? I'll go over the full layout once you've assembled your friends. Suffice it to say, we will need to push as fast as possible to Beta and Gaia's location, dealing with heavy resistance along the way. There are also printing facilities where the others have been amassing the natural resources they've stripped from the region. What for? First for use in the base's infrastructure and then to fabricate more Spectre drones, a small army of them. In addition, they've also been ferrying materials to and from our ship in orbit. After hundreds of years luxuriating in our digital comforts, the ship was barely space-worthy when we made our escape. Disaster can strike at any moment. We've learned our lesson. Have you figured out how Silence's weapon works? No, and he's been very careful not to allow me near it. I'll admit it bothers me, but regardless of how it functions, I am confident it will deactivate the other shields en masse. How many of them are in the base? Ten, including Eric and Gerard. 
Only a handful of us made it to our ship when our colony collapsed. Okay. I'll let you know when it's time. I'll be here until then. And thank you, Aloy, for giving me this chance. My past has always been a struggle. More than once, I've lost everything. But when I look to the future, I see Liz's dream fulfilled. A universe of new possibilities. Maybe we can make it happen. We will. I won't let anything get in the way. I promise you that. Elizabeth and Tilda had a history. The more I learn about her life, the more complicated it seems. I guess she saw something good in Tilda. I don't know what exactly, but it seems like it was enough. For a while, at least. This easy? This place smells wrong. No sand or wind, only cold steel. And the others up there, your squad. They can hold their own. As for this base, it may not be what you're used to, but it is a shelter. Call it what it is, a cage. You came here on your own. For the battle you promised. So for now I wait in my cage for your word. Tell me when to strike. The deal you made. Override tech in exchange for an assault on the Zenith base. How did Silence approach you? That name means nothing to me. My agreement was with Asaram mercenaries. So all this time, you didn't even know who you were really dealing with? And you trusted a group of Outlanders? If it was a trick, I would have crushed them. But they offered me the chance to run the Karja down with machines. The terror in your enemy's eyes when they see you charge. You know what I'm talking about. I bet you felt it. I don't think so. What about your end of the deal? Would you have honored it? Had I killed Akaro and become chief, these Zeniths would have been the first of the tribe's victories. But because of you, my people will continue to consort with the enemy. A tribe of weaklings. <laughs> Because of me, hundreds of Tanakhs won't throw away their lives in a battle they can't win. <laughs> the whole time I've been in the West, I've been fighting you and your rebels. I'd at least like to know why. You were among the enemy. What more is there to know? Why did you do it? Dorak. Jiroka, Makalo, and the Karja pushed into the desert to raid our people. My brother's squad was among the first to intercept them. But the Karja captured them, strung them up, and burned them alive as an example. It was too late. I found them by the sound of their screams. So you wanted vengeance? Vengeance? No. I wanted devastation. To tear down the Karja's cities and drown the land in blood. Hunt down every last survivor and grind their bones until the sky chokes on the dust. But my chief betrayed me. Betrayed the Tanakh.
How did Hikaro betray you? Hikaro called on the clans to resist the Karja's red raids. But we did more than just defend. We hunted them. And they fled as children before a pack of claw striders all the way to their border. There we ripped down their stone walls. Their domain was ours for the taking. But when it came time to push on, Hakaro ordered us to fall back. What soldier retreats when slaughter is at hand? The kind who wants peace for their people. Peace is just a lull between vendettas. But I thought my chief had greater tactics in mind, so I stood by him, even when he allowed that filthy Karja to join our ranks. Fashav. I enjoyed watching him die at the embassy. He should have been put down when we first captured him on the field. Instead, Hikaro made him a marshal. If he became a marshal, he had to have competed in the cool route, meaning he earned it. It was an insult. No outlander can ever deserve to wear our armor, bear our marks. And then a Karja messenger was brought before us? That's when I knew. I had to run my blade through Hakaro and drag his treacherous corpse to the gates of the sun. What happened when the Karja messenger appeared before Hakaro? The quivering priest bore a message from their new king. No more war. No more raids. Suddenly the Karja wanted to talk peace. An embassy at the very fortress we tore down. A true Danakh would never take a Karja truce. Their blood exists to be spilled. But Akaro lapped up the priest's message. He showed himself a Karja-loving traitor when he accepted. That's when I challenged him. And lost. His mercy was just another sign of his weakness. I vowed never to rest until the debt was repaid, with him on his knees before me. So with an army of soldiers and machines at my back, I returned. Day you got in my way. Are you really going to fight alongside me? I have no reason to betray you. Really? I failed to kill Hakaro, failed to eliminate you. No Tanakh would follow me now. The Karja remain out of my reach, cowering behind their walls. All I have left are the screams of those long dead and unending rage. So show me where to bury. All right. I guess we'll both face the end soon enough. Ever since you got in my way, I've wanted to see your bones burned white beneath the sun. But if I'm to die in battle, then it might as well be with the one who flew with the wings of the ten. I'll let you know when it's time to move out. Here for more words, or is it time to strike? That's all for now. Leave, then, 